Once Carrie gave them the score that they needed, they, they could have cared less about her ass. She had to be up on that podium without any pants. She didn't even have any pants on. Bonjour, bitches! Lately, I've been making just fun graphics of Soviet teams because that's my idea of a good time. And when I got to the 88 team, the podium picture is incredibly sad and not like, you know, tears of joy kind of a way. This was like um, my family is being held captive. You know, I just watched my boyfriend get two in the back of the head. Like, it, it's horribly traumatic. And I know probably a lot of that was because of Olga Strajeva getting injured on beam. But otherwise, it, it was just very odd because they had literally just won the Olympic gold medal as a team. They had snatched it back from the Romanians who had taken it the year before. So they had every reason to be really, really happy and, and none of them looked happy. And I wanted to do this routine for so many reasons, starting with the fact that Yelena Shushnova passed away a few years ago. It was such a devastating loss because she was one of the most accomplished gymnasts in the history of the sport. I could start listing off all of her achievements, but you know, it would take me 20 minutes. A couple of my favorite ones are, of course, the one that everybody knows, maybe not everybody, that she was the uh, European world Olympic and World Cup champion. Nobody else has done that except for Tereshova. At the 87 Worlds, she medaled in all five of the individual events. That is pretty impressive. Not a lot of gyms have done that as well. Those are just a couple of my favorite stats. Also, she kind of won book in titles. She won the first major all-around competition of the Quadrennium in 1985 and she won the last one as well in 88. It's sad how low the life expectancy is in Russia. She was only 49. You know, we've lost Yuri Balabanov, and he was even living in the States. But you can leave Russia, but you know, those Russian genes won't leave you. And Shushanova, Naimushina, obviously Mukina, to die before you're 50. It really should not have to happen. Once she passed, I found a new appreciation for her work. Just. A brief history on Shushanova on floor. Shushanova was always a very, very powerful gymnast. Um, she won the vault world title twice. To me, her choreography on floor was kind of aerobic, um, maybe like in the style of like a Diane Dos Santos later on. Not a lot of finesse, not a lot of polish. Um, I don't know what happened in between the Rotterdam worlds in 87 and in Seoul. But she went back to the drawing board and whoever choreographed this routine, I've always referred to her as the Soviet Annie Sullivan because she was a miracle worker. This routine that we're going to watch, I have always loved. And Shushneva, of course, was last up on the team. This music, it's like a polka tango, and it's so ornate. Whip, through go full length. That's how you stick a pass and lunge. But look, all of this, the spirit hand, the jazz fingers, of the backwards, the jazz hands, the spirit fingers. This, all this choreography, there's so much passion in it. She feels everything so intensely. It's like an Arabian, like a side somersault Arabian something rollout skill. Huh? And you can tell she's not a natural dancer, so you can see her working hard, but she's working. She's trying. 
Double back. Another great, great landing. There's the Shishinova. Love it. Ugh. And there's the Milianchek, who was the alternate. So sad. Yeah, it's like a side somersault, Arabian, and then a rollout. It's like an Arabian one and three quarters, I guess, in a straddle position. That's what it is. And the perfect 10. Perfect. So this routine was approximately light years ahead of any other floor routine she had done. So to me, this has always been one of the, the most exciting and aspirational uh, stories in, in gymnastics that shows that if you work hard, you're capable of creating a gorgeous artistic piece. If she could do it, if Shishinova could do it, I know sure as I'm sitting here that Simone Biles, the most talented gymnast who's ever gymnasted, could do it. But will she? I don't know. She has no reason to, but neither did Yelena and she did. So for Shushinova to come to the Olympics, go on to win the all around with this amazing floor routine, for her to come to Seoul with her magnum opus, it just shows how hardcore she was and how much she wanted it. And she left out none of the stops. It reminds me of how Svetlana Horkina came into Sydney, guns a blazing. That is the Russian way. And this is what happens when it works out. And we saw what happened in Sydney when it doesn't work out. But that attitude, I love that fire and that passion. Oh, oh, so thank you so, so much for watching this with me. I really, really appreciate it. Please smash that like button, knock over that bell to subscribe, comment, engage, and I will see everybody in my next one. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.